Right, here we are again then. I'm quite enjoying this, tracking the growth and looking back and seeing how things have come through. So I'm doing another one now at the beginning of May because a lot's come on since the last video I took. Um, I'm also, as well as looking at what's growing and what's coming on, I'm going to look at what I'm actually harvesting from the garden now. So um, as part of my herbal apprenticeship, that's one of the tasks. So we factor that into this video. So yeah. Here's the cucumbers, they're going up the allotment, that's um, crystal lemon, um, really nice plant, hopefully get a lot of seeds off them this year, that one's smaller, there's a little sunflower at the back, that's lemongrass, which is growing, I've had in water and I've just potted on, I've got to watch that look, it's looking a bit dodgy, around there, to keep an eye on that, um, and that's some little rose um, shoots which look a bit sad. I didn't strip them properly really. When I put them in there I didn't have time to shove them in so we'll have to see how they go. Um, okay, That's Amaranthus there which is overcrowded but I had a pot like that last year with seedlings in and they grew really strong like that so I'm just going to leave them there till they get bigger and then separate them and put them out. I've got a few different types of brassica at the back and that's one of those living salads which was from the supermarket which looks a bit sad now but I've had for a good few weeks um, and if I do get a chance I may separate them and pop them up but we'll see <clears throat> hello um, so these are the peppers they're coming on nicely now looking nice and strong um, and I've got one lemon still in here I've put the other one in the polytunnel but I want to see the difference um, because our weather's so changeable. I've also now got a few signs of the ginger. That's the mint which I've constantly been cutting off. And a fat hen which just popped up there. Um, and that is the turmeric which does seem to have grown. That shoot was already on there. I'm not sure if I should have buried that in the first place really but um, it's grown since it's been there. Though it's got brain bits so yeah. We might as well have a look at my little jungle area, which isn't of significant growing importance, um, only to me and my well-being. And I've had a parrot moving, so it must be quite jungle-like, so I'm doing all right. Had some barrage pop up in random places as well. Okay. All right, come on then, cat. <clears throat> right. So it looks lovely after this rain. So, soap wort now. It's come on leaps and bounds and has the thyme. It's a beautiful colour. And I have self seeded a few things around here. Pot marigolds come up now. And the other marjoram at the back there has come up nice. Hawthorns in flower. I mean leaf, I don't know whether I'll get flowers off that this year, probably not. And the cherry, which I've taken out the middle it's growing stem there because um, it needs to be manageable in this size of a garden. Right, I've got the black currants, they're just starting to develop now. Really pleased to see. see this winter savoury. Oh, green on green. That's the winter savoury. If you can see, it's just coming through now. There must be a way of pruning that. I must look that up. St John's wort is taken there. That's happy. As are the others up the back. Wormwood, woodruff, wild strawberries. The gooseberry here. That's also starting to form its fruits. Uh, ooh, it's wayward. Wayward red currant branch. Need to peg that up. The sorrel there, that's going into flower now. The uh, corn cockle is getting going. <laughs> um, and we've had, look, some nasturtiums coming up here. And there's some pot marigolds that have self seeded from last year. And these are the plants 
that I put in quite early on, which have taken now, seem to be quite established. Um, look, forget me nots, they're flowering now. And the hollyhock has come on lovely. That's really getting going, although I can see a sign of rust there. It's prone to rust. I must do something about that. These little self-seeded pansies are flowering now as well. Um, and the rhubarb's come on massively since I filmed it last time. Um, the nettle patch I've been harvesting from regularly, so now it's uh, the cleavers and the... Um, oh, what's that one called? It's impossible to go through a film and remember the name of everything. Woodhavens, yeah, they're taking over, so I need to... Um, come and free the nettle so I get another good growth back on it again the um, the wigwam's growing so we'll be able to do a bit of weaving it back in of that come water make it a little bit more sturdy and strong um, continuous that's coming out oh, that's a lovely colour I've also I've got this sycamore that popped up so I've done the same with that uh, cut out the uh, mid growing stem there right so these are all the cultivars of the strawberries that I put in some of them are in flower already most of them seem to have taken hold some more pop marigolds I think I'm gonna regret I'm gonna have too many pop marigolds <laughs> I've put too many in now and the sturgeon self seeded round here and that I think I had some salad leaves here at one point look that's one that's come up there um, yeah, and this is the, the California lilac just starting to come out some of it. Um, I'll put some more strawberries in there. So, it's cat area. So, yeah, this um, blackcurrant sage has come out. Still a little bit straggly, but it's still alive, so I need to make sure I give that TLC. These thymes haven't fared too well here. I thought they'd be alright because it is quite dry. I didn't think they'd mind. Although it's growing right at the base. So I think it, maybe it's just having a bit of a shock. And it will come back through. And also the uh, name lemon verbena. That's still, that's okay. I thought that might be dead but that's growing so that's cool. Oxide daisy, that's coming into flower now. The garlic mustard, which is truly established itself, and it's very happy there. Um, the wormwood, not quite so happy here as it is over there. So we'll see how that goes. Whoa, drippage. Um, so here's the. Whoa, right. Here's the um, violets. Oh, they're looking very happy. They make good grain cover as well. We've got the ice plant that's come on lovely there. The vein. The evening primrose, which is doing okay. I'll keep having to hack other stuff back to make sure it's got its own spot. It's doing all right. We've got a lot of this lancress in flower now. That's one of the... Oh, I forgot to mention what I am eating out the garden. Well, I'm eating that for sure. And the... Um, Okay, salad bonnet there, as well as the dandelion leaves and the flowers. Um, the garlic mustard I made a pesto out of the other day. Also eating the wild garlic. That's just coming into flower now. And then we've got the, some more currants over here. That's a red currant and another gooseberry. Yeah. Right, I'm not having much luck over here. I don't know what happened here something's gone on. Um, I haven't really had any signs of the spinach or the mizuna, there's one sad looking one. So I think I might um, put the sweet corn in there maybe. That's a custard fruit um, that was put into our community seed bank by Sue. She bought over from Spain as was that lemon there. Um, got the chives there and there's no massive signs on this fig yet but that I'm pretty sure it looks like a viable bud to me so maybe it will go through this year just getting itself established and then 
it will go great guns next year. Like this goji berry, which is... <laughs> it's all over the place now. So we've got the parsley here, which has come on since I filmed it last, obviously. Barrage in pots. Um, and the French marigolds. Chamomile, which we did from seed. And then I've got the garlic in here and the brassicas which are doing well a few onions uh, there's pop marigold popping up in here and um, poppies I've got a lot of poppies in this garden that'll be nice I'll let them pop up there these broad beans and a few peas which I mean we're intending to be for just putting in salads and sprouting and eating now I haven't actually got round to it but it's feeding somebody by the looks of it so that's okay there's more pop marigold here and then peas you need to just tie up in there um, and then right at the back a little tiny grapevine so I'm pleased with that that should be happy in here now some sunflowers um, some more chamomile parsley and that's the sweet corn there there's a little spider more parsley and then that's the potatoes there, which I will. I've got more tyres, so it needs another tyre on and another layer of soil there now. Um, so, yeah, I mean, a lot of these herbs that are growing now, I'm eating. The rosemary's gone a bit by the wayside. That's not very happy there, look. I need to do something about that. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, I found these Babington leeks. I forgot they were in the garden. I've moved them over here, but I don't think I've, I haven't planted them deep enough. They need to be deeper, really. I'll sort that out. I've got the lemon balm as well. Eating that now. Um, horse chestnut tree. He's looking lovely. I'll give him a little ribbon. Um, that is the comfrey, which I've potted up. That's going to go up to the allotment. Um, oh, I just realised that the last film, these were just coming out, these grey hyacinths, slightly past their best now, but um, they're still there, they're still beautiful. This is the rose, which is a beautiful rose, the beautiful scent, um, and it is already, it's infested, if you can see, yeah, there you go. Um, so I've been trying a little bit of... Um, nettle plant food but watered down as an insecticide and um, supposed to work so um we'll see i'll keep spraying and see how we go so forget me not that's an apple mint here's the um oak which i oh, look at that how beautiful is that it's amazing um and that's pretty much it just another bit of mint around there um that's how the uh God, and he's looking at the beginning of May.